the Tennessee Titans will wrap it up for us. And their win total sits at nine as well. Same as the Indianapolis Colts. To go over is minus 165. So that's the difference, right? Juiced to the over. To go under plus 135. To win the division, they are minus 125. That's number one. Of course, they are the favorite. To win the AFC, they are plus 1,400. That's the same as the Colts. To make the playoffs, minus 165. Same as going over here. And no would be plus 135. They are projected favorites in eight games, which is different than the Colts here. Their projected strength of schedule is 14th easiest. Of course, the Colts was the 12th easiest, uh, and that's based on projected win totals. Five straight win total overs. They brought in uh, Jim Schwartz as a defensive analyst. Of course, Schwartz was the defensive coordinator when they actually made their Super Bowl run back under Jeff Fisher. Uh, I don't know what this does for them now, but we shall see. Uh, The Titans have allowed more yards than gained in all three seasons under Mike Vrabel. Pretty remarkable. Really, 7-2 and two record in one-score games last year. There's got to be some kind of regression there, you would assume. Tannehill's 105.3 passer rating was number three behind Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson last year. The offense has the number four EPA in the league since 2019. I found that surprising. That's amazing. Yes. Julio Jones replaces Corey Davis in that wide receiving core. That upgrade helps out A.J. Brown quite a bit. Uh, can Bud Dupree help out that pass rush? Because that was their issue. To Davian Clowney could not get to the quarterback. And it wasn't just him. It was the whole defense. They could, could not get to the quarterback for whatever reason. He was PFF's number 82 graded pass rusher. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if Bud Dupree will be able to help out in that situation or not. I mean, who knows? They lost Arthur Smith, their offensive coordinator. Uh, will Todd Downing come in and continue their, their play-action heavy passing offense? I would assume so because he's been there forever. He learned under Arthur Smith. You would think he would know. I... I do like this team. I am going to go over. I've got this team winning 10 games. I do think defense is going to remain a problem because I don't think Jim Schwartz coming in fixes anything. I don't think Bud Dupree coming in fixes anything either. I I like this team. I think they're going to win the division. I, I do have them going over, but it's more based on the fact that they get six games against the Colts and the Jags and the Texans. So what was the total again? Nine. I mean, I'm sorry, not the total. I knew the total. What's the price again? To go under is plus 135. To go over is minus 165. So I have this team at nine and eight. Okay. If you told me to go under, is that big of a difference? I'd probably take the under just because of price. It wouldn't be for a lot. This is a complete stay away because I have them at at that number. If you told me the price was even, the exact same, it doesn't matter, I would think that maybe they could win a game. I do think they're better than all the rest of the teams in this division. I still think this is a very flawed football team. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I And also tell me this. I think this offense, I know everybody thinks Julio Jones is going to be amazing. Julio Jones is going to transform this offense. Hang on now. Hang on. The guy that made this offense what it was is now in Atlanta, where, where Julio used to be. Okay, that's Arthur Smith. And I put a lot of stock in Arthur. All right. I don't know who the hell this new bloke is. Okay. Running the football and and doing things. Also, Henry is a monster. But what we know in the NFL is, is when you put the workload that he has taken over the last three years on a running back at some point in time, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. He's going to hit a cliff. And when he does, this team is going to the tank. Because that's where this offense runs through. Okay. Tannehill is what he is because of Derrick Henry. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I love AJ Brown. I think he is an amazing receiver. I think Julio Jones is a great player when he's available. Julio Jones had four games, I think, last year that were worth a damn. That's it. He only played nine games. Do we think he's going to be healthier the older he gets? I I just don't know enough about this offense, and I do know enough about this defense that I don't think they're that much better. I think they have been drafting well, but in defensive world, drafting well means two years from now you're going to be really good. Rarely do rookies come in at the cornerback secondary position and immediately make monster effects. It's usually their third year where they just take over the league. All right? So I, I think this team is still going to struggle to win games. I think they've got a really easy division, but at the same time, I understand divisional football. I think 
to think that they're just going to get six wins thrown to them because the rest of the division sucks is not going to happen. The Colts have had this team's number more, more than any Forever. team. I have seen I have seen bad Colts football teams come in and play really good Titans teams. And they beat the shit out of them. All right, yeah. like, it ain't close. Okay. I so I'm I'm curious what this Colts team will look like against them. They they always it, I think it may be a mental thing. And the Texans have it's, always it's going to be the well. best game the Colts are going to play all year. When when Tennessee goes to Indianapolis, that will be the best game you will watch the Colts play all year. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I just know that every year in this division, they give them hell. When they're really good, they beat the hell out of them. When they're bad, they beat the hell out of them. And I don't I can't explain it. Yes. Uh, by the way, Tannehill is being placed on the COVID nineteen list for the yeah. Titans as of well, I, I guess when at Thursday. Yeah. But he'll be he'll be fine by time game time. He's he wasn't going to play in the third preseason game probably much anyway. That that yeah. doesn't. Tannehill's the quarterback. Tannehill's not at threat to lose his job. Tannehill's still a very good. All of the things that I said, I do not think are knocks on this team. I think they are warning signs. Now, if Derrick Henry continues to run this season the way he has the last three years. I think they'll, excuse me. I think they'll go over the nine, but I don't. I don't think it's good. This team ain't, ain't winning twelve games. Okay, like no, I think they'll. This I think they'll win ten games, maybe. But that just means they're going to kick the shit out of the rest of the division, probably. Yeah, that's and that's the biggest thing that got me there, right? That you got six games there. If you go like five and one, well, then I, I got to get. I got to get five more, and I think that I can get five more on the schedule. I don't. Like, I don't see five more. But that's because I'm assuming some of those good Julio Jones games you're going to get are going to come in this division against not a good secondary in sight. There's not a good secondary in Jacksonville, not a good secondary in Indianapolis, and there's not a good secondary in Houston. That's where Julio is going to get his good games from and games that you should already win anyway. Yeah, I need Julio to have a good game against the Bills. All right, But I don't think that's happening because I think that secondary is going to make sure that don't happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we've got... Arizona to start at Seattle, Indy at the Jets, at the Jags, Buffalo, Kansas City, at Indy, at the Rams, New Orleans. Yeah, I mean, and on the back half of the schedule, you've got Jacksonville, like you got at New England, and you got Jacksonville, and you've got at Pittsburgh, San Francisco, Miami, and then you close out at Houston. I mean, they, like, this is this tough. This is tough, but I, I think this NFL. is a good enough team. Yeah, it's the NFL. I mean, that's the way this shit goes. So, so I, I think this year we're going to see that every year we have a conference, every year we have not a conference, a division that is bad. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to be the NFC East this year. I think this is going to be the worst division of football. We're going to say, are we going to have a team with a losing record, win a division to make a playoff game? We're going to have that conversation. And I think we're going to have it here. Okay. Okay. I, can get I might be wrong on that. That's my prediction for this division. Still got the Titans winning it. I still think they're the best team in this division. If Watson came back, still think they're the best team in this division. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.